Hi there. Remember who this is? This is Percy. And you remember, oh, they haven't been here uh, for a visit for a long time now, but we had three little white rats like this, didn't we? Remember? And we named them all. Do you remember what we named them? This one was Percy, and the two little girls were Rachel and Loretta. Well, now, you hold up as many fingers as, as that would make rats, will you? There was Percy and Rachel and Loretta. Now, how many fingers do you have up? Three, that's right. But do you know something? Oh, something just very, very nice happened today. I came in this morning, and I went over to Percy and Rachel and Loretta's house, their little house that they live in, you know. And I was just going to say good morning to them, and I looked in, and what do you suppose was in their little house? Well, instead of finding three Rachel, Percy, and Loretta, I found 19 rats, the three big ones, and 16 little tiny babies, just brand new. And so, well, 16 is an awfully big number, isn't it? And those are just the babies. And with Percy and Rachel and Loretta all together, it makes 19. And we started out with this many, remember, three. And now do you know how many we have? Well, 19, that would mean counting all the toes on your right foot and all the toes on your left foot and all the fingers on this hand and all the fingers except the thumb on this hand. And oh, you should just see them. They're not very pretty right now because after they were just born, well, little animals sometimes aren't very pretty when they're just born. But they're about, about that long, just about half as long as your little finger. And that's just about how big around they are, too. And they're all pink, just like Percy and Rachel and Loretta's tail. They're just all pink, and you know something else? They don't have their eyes open yet. You know, sometimes, remember when we talked about birds, we said that birds didn't, uh, they weren't hatched or they weren't born with their, with their eyes open, and neither are these little baby rats. Their eyes are just tightly closed like this, and I suppose it'll be three or four or five or days at least, maybe even longer before they open their eyes. But when they do have their eyes open, I'll bring them over and show them to you. But they're awfully cute, and remember, there's a whole lot of them out there. I don't know whether we'll get around to naming all those little baby rats or not, but we'll think about it a little bit. And now, well, where, Percy, where'd you go? Oh, here you are, over visiting the news hound. Can you see him under here? See his little nose sticking out right there? Well, news hound has some mail here, Percy. Is that what you went over there for, was to get the mail or remind me that we had some mail to look at today? Well, I'm glad that you did. And if you'll just excuse me a minute here, you and the news hound with his, with his glasses on, he's all ready to read the mail. And I'll just bring the mail right over here, and we'll look at it. And here's the first picture, and my, it's a good one. Linda Brodine drew this picture, and she's six years old. And it's a picture of a pig. And this pig is nice because it's drawn nice and big. And look at the little curly tail on the pig. Isn't that a good pig? And you know, something else that's very nice about Linda's picture is this. She has some blue, blue sky and some green, green grass. But instead of having the sky just run along here at the top of the picture, and the grass just run along down here at the bottom, Linda has made the sky, the blue sky, come all the way down to here, and then the green grass starts right away. You know, sometimes if you go outside and look off in the distance, it'll look just like the sky is touching the ground, and that's what the way Linda has drawn this, and so that's very nice, isn't it? Well, now, here's another picture. Judy Hemphill drew this picture, and she's five years old. And look at the birds, and they're flying right through the sky, aren't they? There's some clouds up there, and the sky is blue, and the little birds are blue, too. There's two of them, and since they're blue, I wonder what kind they are. Do you suppose they're blue birds? Well, maybe they could be blue jays, couldn't they? I wonder what kind they were if Judy saw them when she drew them. And here is another bird. Only these, this bird here isn't blue. I'll tell you what color it is, and you see if you can guess which bird it is. It has a brown head, dark brown head, and a light brown back, 
and a red breast. Do you know what kind of a bird that would be? That's a robin then, isn't it? Patty Brockett drew this, and she's seven years old. And look what's in the beak of this little, uh, this robin, a worm. And it looks like she's feeding it to her little baby. And way over here in this tree is a little nest. So maybe this is the mother robin trying to teach the little baby robin how to fly because they are so far away from the nest, do you suppose? Well, here is one more picture. And Kathleen Burkhead drew this. And she says that this is Miss, let me see here, Miss Millie. Miss Millie the duck. And this is a very good duck because it's so very big, too. It covers the whole paper. And we like to see drawings that cover the whole paper, don't we? But you know, I saved this one to show you the very last one because it was of a duck. And because I have a duck here that I'd like you to see today, and I'd like to talk about it just a little bit. So, Percy, you stay right in here, will you, with the news hound? Will you stay right in here? All right, I'll put the news hound back, and you can just talk to the news hound while we go over here and see this duck. Here it is right here. You can probably hear it. He's just been quacking and quacking and quacking. He's a big white duck. And you know, they have yellow, big yellow feet, big flat yellow feet, and a big, thick, wide yellow bill. And I'm going to unhook the cage that this duck is in here. Let's see, maybe he'll come out. I don't know. Oh, well, he's looking out. There we go with a flutter of the wings. Oh, he's very excited, isn't he? You know, ducks are very funny. You see how they waddle around? And look how short his legs are. My goodness, but he has short legs, hasn't he? And you know, we well, stop and think of a chicken. A chicken has longer legs than this duck. And a chicken can run, but because this poor little duck's legs are so short, he can't run very well. He just has to waddle back and forth and back and forth. But he has short legs for a very good purpose. He uses them to swim with. And if they, I don't, maybe he'll stand still so you could get a good look at his feet. But there are four toes on a duck's foot, one in the back and three going out towards the front. But in between each toe is a piece of skin that's stretched between each toe, and it's, we call it a web, so that a duck has web feet. And this helps him with swimming. You know, when we swim, we have to put our fingers together when we move them through the water, don't we? So the water won't go through the fingers. Well, the duck already has his fingers put together with an extra piece of skin, which makes it very nice because, you know, he is a very good swimmer. Well, now, Mr. Duck, either you come back here and get back into the cage, or you can just walk around there, I guess, because we're going to come up here right now and do a little drawing. I thought it might be fun to draw a picture of the duck. I hope you got a good look at him. And then, well, we'll draw a picture of a duck with just circles and things. And then maybe later on, you can draw a picture of the duck the way you saw him running around on the floor or maybe poking his head up over the side. And first of all, I guess I'll move the mail over here. But we want to start with some circles. And if we draw a circle right up here towards the top of the paper, a very light circle. Now these circles we want to make very, very light so that when we go over them later, we can kind of cover them up, you see, with our crayons or with our other papers. So if we put this little circle right here, and then his neck came down there a little bit, didn't it? So we can kind of put two lines very lightly now down from that circle like that. And then his body, he had a big, thick body, didn't he? And remember how his tail, he didn't have a tail like, like other kind of smaller birds. He has a little tail that has kind of a curl on it like that. And then his beak, remember how thick it was? Kind of put that out there like that. And his legs came down right here, more or less in the back. See, remember how far back they were? Well, now we can go over this around the outsides of these circles and lines and end up with a pretty good duck, I think. We'll start here at the top of the duck's head, go right around, kind of curve it in a little bit there along the back of the neckline like that. And then we can just almost follow this light-colored line right here around and make his curly cute tail and run it right down there. You know, they're awfully flat on the bottom, these ducks are, because well, that helps them with their swimming. Right around down here. 
Remember, the legs come down about right here towards the back. And how many toes did we say they had? They had four. I have one here and one there. That's two. And three. And then just a little one that comes out in the back like that. And then we can color these in with orange or yellow later. And then we can come up here and do the breast of the duck like this, following along these lighter lines that we made to begin with. And his bill, remember, was very, very thick, wasn't it? So we want to make his bill pretty thick. And then it came way up here. And I don't know whether you noticed or not, but right here, close to the head on the bill, there was a little hole. It might have looked something like that. And do you know what that hole was on the duck's nose, on the duck's bill? That was his nose. He has one on this side of his bill and one around on the other side. And that's where the duck breathes from. But you think, what does a dog's nose look like? It's a lot bigger than just a little hole, isn't it? It has some kind of soft skin around it. And that helps the dog to smell. But the duck doesn't have any soft skin around his little nose. So do you know that he can't smell anything? If he smelled some perfume, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even know it. And if our mothers were cooking something nice, he couldn't even smell it. The poor duck. But he has a nice big eye like this with a dark pupil right in the center. And then, of course, his wings come out from his body down here like that. You know, another funny thing about a duck is his eyes. About all birds, really. Well, you know how we what happens to our eyes when we close them. We have a big lid on top and it closes down, doesn't it, when we close our eyes. But not so with the duck. When the duck goes to sleep at night, instead of the top lid of his eye coming down, the bottom lid of his eye comes up. Isn't that funny? You look in the mirror sometime and close your eyes and see what happens. The big top lid will come down and it'll just stop when it gets to the bottom. But a duck. A duck has a big lid on the bottom and his lid comes all the way up instead of going down. Isn't that funny? You know where a duck's ears are? They don't have ears that stick out like we do or like dogs do. They have holes in the sides of their heads and that's where their ears are. And most of the time their ears are covered by feathers. Well, tomorrow I thought it would be kind of fun to make a duck out of paper. And so here are the things that you're going to be needing. And you try and have them ready tomorrow and then we can get to work right away. You'll need a piece of paper and some crayons and a pencil and a pair of scissors and some paste. And that's what you'll need for tomorrow. And now, Percy, do you think you can remember the things that we just said that we'll need for tomorrow? Well, you come on now because I want you to meet a friend of mine. You know, we should go over and see our...